Thanks for staying with us. Yesterday, a popular Yoruba actress, Ronke Ojo, popularly known as Ronke Oshojoke, a video went viral as she called out her daughter's school after she was allegedly poisoned. The Nollywood actress went to narrate how she was called in the middle of the night that her daughter had drank hypo and then rushed to the hospital. Although she has refused, she has refused to name the school, we would like to hear, we would like to talk to her to give us the details of the story so that we have clarity because sometimes we hear videos on, we see videos on social media, we read comments that take us left, right, center, but we want to hear it from um, Madame Runke herself and she has joined us via phone call. Good morning, Madam. Good morning. Yes. How are you, ma? Very well, thank you. So my first question to you is, how is your daughter feeling now? How is she doing? She's better now. She's much better now. Okay, that, that's, that's good news. Mm -hmm. But we, the video, you mentioned the fact that somebody must have poured hypo into her water bottle. Um, what exactly was the story you heard and how are you re dealing with the situation? Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, what really happened is was that um, they called me around 3.45 a.m. in the morning that uh, my daughter drank IPO. I was like, really? What happened? What? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So the next day I went to the school. When I got there, I see her lying on a sick bay. I didn't see any doctor. I didn't see anybody there. I was like, what's wrong? What's going on? I met a doctor there. The doctor was like, wow! Sorry, someone just passed my car now. Oh, oh my God. So sorry. So sorry. So, so sorry. Um... So I saw... So I saw I saw a doctor there, and the doctor was like, eh, I was like, why don't you treat this girl? She was like, eh, all these child, all these children, they normally, eh, because, because they are bored in their hostels, they, they want to come to the sick bay because they want to use the internet. They want to come to the sick bay. They, eh? Okay. They want to do this. They want to do that. You know, they're just giving me unnecessary excuses. I was like, all the things you are saying now, what is something, what is something bad as, I mean, I mean, is wrong with this girl? What, you, what will you do? All these things you are telling me now is a unnecessary excuse. We will be telling this to the to, to we will be telling, we will be able to say this to the judge or we will be able to say this to the to a soldier or a policeman if they come here. They were just giving a little because the only thing they were giving her until I got there was water. They were just giving her drinks. No injection, no drugs, nothing. So I had to take her off. I had to take her from that uh, school. We left. Immediately I got home. I took her to a, to a hospital near my house. They gave her some things. I think it's first aid. You know, they gave her first aid. When they gave her the first aid, the next day she was still complaining that um, I told me she's feeling cutting, like someone is, and like someone is cutting her. You know, so I had to take her to mother and child hospital. When we get to the mother and child hospital, they now say that they now refer us to Lagos State. Uh, to last week. So until we got to last week, so when we get to last week, we met a doctor there. They were very nice. They were very kind. They attended to us. Me, myself, I'm strong in the Lord. Everybody knows that I'm strong. With all these wahalas, with all these palavas, you know, it was really, really stressful because I went through that for almost two weeks, going up, down, from one hospital to another, from this to that, from that to this, everything. You know, so, but now she's fine. At the end of the day, I think about four days ago, we went to the hospital back again to go and do a doscope. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they put a camera in her mouth. They were seeing, they were, uh, they, I just copy, shall you, anybody that is a medical person will understand what a doscope means. Mm -hmm. So, that was the end, that's the end of everything. Also, she was better, now she's better. Now she's okay. That's when so when you're I come to the school on on uh, I don't know, I think day before yesterday, I took her back to school. I didn't like the response. You understand? I didn't like the response I was getting. Mm. I didn't just like it. 
I don't feel it. What was it? You know, I don't just feel it. They see it as a normal thing that is just long. Um, so I was just talking to myself that it's really, no, is it a normal thing? Because me, I don't really like Pahala. I don't like Pahala. I'm not a troublesome person. All this blah, 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 that I do, oh, I think oh. it <laughs> All right, Madam Runke, let's get another question. Yes, okay, question. so I just, you know, I, I just wanted to find out where exactly did you confirm that hypo was poured in her water. Was it when you got to the sick bay or was it when she went to the hospital or was it when you were referred to Lassut and they, you know, checked her? When did you confirm that that was what was poured into her water? Uh, even they sent me, uh, they sent me uh, uh, videos, uh, video stuff. They actually snapped it. They recorded it. Our friend snapped it. The person, the person poured the hypo into her water Maybe someone was coming at that time, so she now threw the ipo. She now threw the ipo, the nylon. She threw it under the bed. She just threw it under the bed. Maybe she, I think she was scared. Was it a prank? Okay, um, I, I wanted think, to get into. I think into she was scared, so the... she just threw it under the bed. So when she threw it under the bed, fortunately for maybe fortunately or unfortunately, yeah, they saw it. Okay, so how, how is the hostel structured? Is, does she have roommates? Does she, you know, how is it yes, structured? She has roommates. Yes, she okay, has so roommates. She, she, has she has roommates, roommates. and there was a used hypo yes. sachet under the bed at the time she was there. Um, yes, yes, and they don't use hypo in their room, according to her. According to her and her friends, they don't use hypo in her room. They only use the toilet. Okay. Mm. Okay, so, so um, <laughs> you mentioned that you didn't like the response because I, I think that you you've been you've been handling this situation privately for the past two weeks, according to what you said. I want to be sure I'm right, but yes, yes. when you went back to school, you didn't like their response, and that was why you. I did it. I did not. I did not. So what was I the response not. that you I... didn't like? I did feel them. You know, I think that she would do more. Mm -hmm. You understand? Did they I investigate? They done more. Is the police involved? Did they come to check on her when she was in hospital? Did they say they anything to say to they're check. investigating? They didn't, they, didn't wow. come to, they didn't come to check on her. They didn't come to check up on her. Nobody came. They were only calling. They were calling. The, the school is outside Lagos. It was just a call. The, if I, I was the one calling more because I was sending them videos. Each okay. and every hospital we went to, I was sending them videos. I didn't say anything about investigating it to find and out who exactly did who did it and why. Yes, they are doing their investigation okay. according to them. Okay. According to them. According okay. to them. And I, I witnessed some of the investigations. Okay. okay. You understand? But I, I feel they, they should have done more. Mm. And now you said you took you her... You said you've taken her back to the same school. Are you are you uncomfortable? Are you how do you feel knowing that you have left her there again? And you, especially since there's no the um, results of the investigation is not out yet. Are you comfortable just taking her back to that school? That is why I did. That is why I did the video I did yesterday mm. because I know some of them will have watched that video. You understand. And I don't have anything. I know I have a voice. And thank God, the video has gone viral. Okay. Are you so hoping I that the video would compel, will them, compel to, them to protect her better or, or do a proper investigation? I will am still going back to the school. I'm going back to the school tomorrow. Okay. I'm going back to the school tomorrow. Either, either tomorrow or Monday. I'll go back to the school. To, I'll go back to the school. So, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> So the, the, the question many people are asking this is, is... This thing is out of hand for now. It's out of hand. People are obviously. calling, are they receiving calls. Yeah. People are saying so many things, you know. So the, the, one of the core questions a lot of people are asking on social media, and even we are curious about it, is that why are you not mentioning the name of the school? You know, we, we saw what happened with Caleb. Many schools have had a bit of issues that they mentioned. We know the names of the school. If you are already displeased with how, the, how they are managing the situation, and even though you know they are doing something, you are displeased with the, um, yes, with the pace of investigation. Why have you not mentioned the school? And how are you sure that your child will still be safe yes. going back to that school? Like something like that will not happen again. 
I will be going back to school tomorrow or Monday. You understand? Mm. And when I go back to the school tomorrow or Monday, I, I will call them before I go. I need to have a meeting with the top officials of the school. Mm. You understand? And I will know they would like to see me as well. So when I get there, whatever they say, <clears throat> whatever they say, how I see they handle the situation will let me know what I'm going to do. You understand? Either I will mention the full name or I will not mention it. I still want to hold on till Monday. I'm going to give them till Monday. By Monday, when they are not doing what they're supposed to do, I'm going to mention the name of the school. I'm sorry, I was going to mention Chris Lan, not Caleb, but Nima has a question. I hope that, uh, no, I, I just hope that your daughter is safe till, you know. Yes. From now, um, you know, for now and then. And then, because, you know, because we cannot, I, I wish that there was a proper investigation immediately. Mm -hmm. So the school should have brought in the police. It does not have the machinery to investigate immediately. And everybody in the hostel at the time when she took that drink ought to have, you know, been sort of... Uh, I brought in for questioning, question. so we know exactly what we are dealing with. Because it could be a mistake; it could also be poisoning, deliberate a deliberate act. act. So they don't want to be sure does she have exactly. people that are hating on, hating her, on her or yeah. hating on you mm. that might end up attacked. So that there are Was many it a angles prank to... gone wrong? Yeah. You know all these people. So I, as I think we will, I don't care Ojo, popularly known as Ronke Oshodi, who was narrating on social media what happened in her daughter's school where she was um, allegedly poisoned with. Um, a bleach poured into her water bottle where she drank and um, she's been discussing with us that she didn't like the response from the school. Um, what, before we went on a break, the conversation had been in the point of, based on your conversation with, we're, we're trying to understand a bit more that, based on your conversation with your daughter, do you think, were you, was she able to identify people she feels or she felt might have been, um, might, might, might be involved in this? Could it be a prank? Or was it a deliberate attempt to poison her? What have you heard so it far, was, ma? It was, a, it was a deliberate attempt. Okay. They did it deliberately. You understand? Okay. And um, I don't know, because my daughter is like me. She's naive. You understand? She, I don't think she, she has anybody in mind. Mm. You understand? She doesn't have anybody in mind. She doesn't think about anybody. So she, she doesn't have anybody in mind. They've been asking her, though. They've been asking her. She doesn't have anybody in mind. But, but um, Runke, you are a public figure, and um, yes. you're a popular person. Anything could be yes. the reason for motivation for this act, if it was truly a deliberate one, as yes. we allege. What are you doing to ensure that you get to the root of it? Because I would love to hear that you've also filed the petition independently from the school to have the police investigate this. You know, I told you, I just, um, I just came out of the trauma about three days ago. So that's why I think it's official media. I've not done anything up till now. Officially. I've not done anything up till now. But, like, right now, I want to go to school. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the school on either tomorrow, because I'm going on location now. I want to go to school, to the school, either tomorrow or Monday. So is there a response now that will tell me what to do? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Is there a response now that will tell me what to do? What response, so, are you why, hope, um, what response would well, you get that will make you feel comfortable? And what response do you think you get that will make you decide to go this by yourself and meet the police on I, your own? I can't do it all alone. I can't do it all alone now. I'm yes. going to put it on social media. I'm going to involve my lawyer. I can't do it all alone. I can't do it all alone. It's yes, what are you expecting to hear from the school to give you confidence that they are on it? Not ordinary confidence. They have to do more. We're talking about a child right here now. Yes. A 19 year old child. Hmm. I, I raised her on my own. Me, myself, and I. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, <laughs> it's not been easy. But I said it earlier, yes. I, 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 I don't really like trouble. I don't really like trouble. If you know me very well, you know that I don't really... All these people <laughs> that I do, I only do it on set. <laughs> if I'm upset, 
I'm a different person. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I think they are taking they are, they are taking they know that I'm a I'm a calm person. So they are now taking that as an advantage on their own side. But I'm going to tell them that I can be calm and at the same time <laughs> I can be troublesome. True. Mm. You understand so what I'm saying? So yeah. When I get there, is the response they give me, is their body language, is their attitude that will let me know what I'm going to do next. Okay. And they're going to put, yes, if they don't give me assurance, like assurance, like assurance, 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 I'm going to take my daughter off that. I thought I'm taking my daughter off that school. If I take my daughter off that school, it's going to be, very, it's not going to be easy because my daughter will have been out. I'll be able to do whatever I want to do that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I, I sense that you I'm didn't saying. want to. She don't, you don't want to expose your daughter by mentioning the school mm. because that would also mean everybody will know what school yeah. she's in as well. Yeah. So. Um, no, 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 it's not that. though. it's not that. It's not because I don't want to expose my daughter. Yes, I don't want to expose my daughter. Okay. And I don't want to expose the school as well. For now. Yes. Okay. 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 You understand okay. what I'm saying? Okay. I don't want to expose my daughter, and I don't want to expose the school for now. Because I know if I expose the school for now, I know what I know what they are going to go through. All right. So, um, of course, we are we are very happy, you know, as, and I'm sure you are also happy to know that your daughter is fine, mm -hmm. and it's something everybody would be happy to hear about. We've heard so many stories in recent times where something so could have gone wrong, yes. scary things. You've raised your child, and then one little mistake. So, we're uh, grateful to God for you. We celebrate. God on your behalf and um, we're also all going to be waiting to hear the feedback from the school. the school you know to determine your line of action but I wanted to just ask this final question how are you dealing with the social media trolls because when I saw your video and I read the comments you know the comments left right center how are you keeping yourself are you reading the comments or you are ignoring the comments <laughs> number one if you don't love someone mm. You won't talk to you, won't, you won't tell the person the truth. They are just saying the truth. If they may say it in the wrong way, it's just the truth. Mm. You understand? Your mm -hmm. will say, Don't worry, I will give up one little daddy. Mm. Well, but I'm also mm. But I'm also thorough. But I'm afraid, daddy, that is when they are telling themselves the truth. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? They may so. say, Oh God, they may mm. say any other thing. It is because they love me. If they don't love me, they will be harsh. Like that. Okay. Yes, I don't read comments. I do not comment. I don't read comments. If my brother, one of my sisters coming from the US, she's the one that is reading the comments for me. You mm. understand? She was telling me what they are, what they are saying. I do. I really do not comment. I don't read. But whatever they say at this point is because they love. Me. It's because they love my child, and I appreciate it. Okay. So I, I like the perspective you're mm. taking to the comments that, um, and and I think it's good for for sanity not to. Just sit down and keep reading um, all those comments. And we're, we're praying that there will be a positive result from all of this. Mm -hmm. And f most importantly, this would not happen again within that setting because it will flag down. Um, the school is being flagged to pay attention to all okay. these things. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing your story with us. And um, that's all we can take from you. Um, we'll let you go thank to you. your location and all the best with the shoots.